Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so, so much for being here. Thank you for your continued support. Thank you for your continued watching my videos, commenting, liking. I just, I appreciate you all so, so much. So I just wanna to continue to say thank you. As of today, as of yesterday, a couple days ago, yesterday, one of these days, I'm at 600 subscribers. I think I'm at 602-ish, I think so. Um, I didn't look right before I started. So right around 602 subscribers. So I am going to do a 600 subscriber giveaway and I'm so behind because I still haven't mailed out my 400 or 500. But I guess that's what happens when you grow pretty quick and you get a lot more subscribers. You just end up like needing to send stuff out. So um, if you are here, please make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you like this video and you do hashtag 600 down below and you can be entered into my 600 subscriber giveaway. This one is going to be a fall themed giveaway. So I have some Nomi things. I have one of the fall calendars. Um, and I don't know exactly what else, but I'm gonna make it a fall themed giveaway with fall themed Dollar Tree items, which are getting more and more scarce in my stores, but that is what it's going to be. So hashtag 600 in the comments below to be entered into that. So obviously today I have a Dollar Tree haul, but before I get into my Dollar Tree items, I also had to run to some thrift stores. So next week is my son's spirit week at school. And I don't like to go buy things for full price, especially if they're going to be used one time because of spirit week. So I always like to go look in thrift stores first. And then I'm also working on buying stuff. If you hear my dogs, they're over there wrestling. Uh, <laughs> if um, I'm working on doing a uh, Hawaii. Yeah, I really would like to be a Hawaii. Uh, wow, Halloween themed coffee bar and so I've been looking around for stuff for the, that um, at Dollar Trees and at the thrift stores. Gertrude! <laughs> Sorry guys. So um, I picked up a few things at the thrift store. Let me get started because I could get distracted all day long. So I picked up two plain white t-shirts for my son. They're both in size um, extra large and this one is in large and they're just literally this one's Hanes. This is Cat and Jack so Target brand. They're both $1.99 one i got them to go under other shirts or one of his days is tie-dye day and he wants to tie-dye a shirt so i picked up the white shirt there one of his days is western day so i got him these cute wrangler jeans they're in size 10 they're a little snug i'm not sure they'll work for the day though and they were 5.99 and luckily i have eric who's like a few sizes behind him so whatever you know braxton grows out of eric gets and so for western day i picked him up this shirt size medium it was $4.99 and it's got the snaps on the pockets which I think are adorable and it's just a regular button-up shirt other than that I don't know if I know personally this brand but the shirt itself was just really cute so I picked that up and then I also picked him up a second western shirt because I couldn't resist I thought it was adorable we also go to the stock show every year so every year in January um, the stock show rolls through Colorado and if you've never been and you want to visit Colorado it's a really fun thing to go to they say it's the best what is it the best however many days in Colorado or something and that's why we're allowed to keep our Christmas lights up through January because it has been said that you have all the people come in for the stock show and you want everything to be lit up so that they see Colorado beautifully so that's why we get the pass to be able to keep our Christmas lights up longer. Anywho, so we always do that every year. So we needed some Western shirts for that as well because he likes to wear Western shirts. And this is Roper brand. It was $3.99, size large 12, 14. And he tried them on and he was so cute when they tried them on to make sure they fit. So that is adorable. And then when I was there for Eric, I found him this, it's Skull and Crossbones. It says it's size six, and then that's the brand on that one. But it's big enough, because he's a skinny little one, and long enough for him. And this was $2.99, and I showed it to him, and he said, yes, I like that. So, got him just a new shirt. And then one of the days for Braxton's Spirit Week is Era Day. And so we were going through the different eras, and I talked last video about the early 2000s, and what does that mean? I did some research, it's like Ed Hardy, it's um, a lot of like like those jeans that just have like the zipper and embellished on the tops of them. Um, think Clueless. So that's kind of what I gathered about the early 2000s. And I would have loved to have found like an Ed Hardy shirt, but I didn't. So I found this because we talked about tracksuits in like the 90s and stuff and Braxton was for that. And I couldn't find the Adidas tracksuit, but I found a members only jacket in size 1012. 
And so it says members only on the sleeve and on like the pockets down here, which I looked up and it's very 80s for members only. But Braxton looked up the weather for the day that is Era's day and he's like, well, perfect. It's gonna be a chilly jacket kind of day. So he's in, thank goodness. And then for my coffee bar, I picked up a couple mugs from the thrift store and I liked the shape of this one. I loved the handle and I'm gonna use my Cricut and Cricut something Halloween-y on it. And this was 99 cents. So same price that I would have spent at the Dollar Tree. I don't know what the brand is. I don't know if it's a good brand. I don't really care about good brands of coffee mugs. I just care about cuteness. Oh, da the Dan Dansks, D-A-N-S-K. -D That's a good brand, right? Anyway, I just liked the handle. I thought that the handle was really cute. And then I just got this one, which is really just a plain one. This is Opal House from Target. It was also 99 cents. And again, I'm just going to Cricut on it. I have some sayings I want to do. And then I got this black one. And I liked the shape of that too. It was really funny. I was going through all the mugs at the thrift store and how many mugs and stuff that have like business logos on them because, you know, they get them made and give them out for gifts and then people don't want them. So they just donate them. It made me giggle because I worked for a company that did that. And I'm like, yeah, that's what happens. People don't want that. I can't tell what brand this is, if it's a good brand or not. I have no idea, but I liked the shape of it. I thought it was cute and I wanted a black mug. So I got those to do on my Halloween coffee bar and then I was excited. So I was looking for inspirations about the Halloween coffee bar and a lot of people had these. So these were Target last year in their dollar in their bullseye playground. They were $3. I got it for $1.99. Oh, side note, this one was 69 cents. So one of my mugs was even cheaper than the Dollar Tree. It was 69 cents for the black one. But um, so this was $1.99, so I got it cheaper than if I would have picked it up at Dollar Tree, or not Dollar Tree, at uh, Target last year. And so I got this because I thought he was too cute. You could put like coffee creamers or sugars or something for your coffee bar in there. And then I found this guy. So I have been scouring my Dollar Generals trying to find all the cute pumpkin stuff that they have, and I can't find them. My Dollar Generals are, are their thumbs down, like they're not great. But this is glass and it's heavy. It was $5.99 and the lid comes off and so I don't know this is more for my fall setup probably than my Halloween setup but oh I thought it was gorgeous and I couldn't pass it up so I got that guy and then lastly from the thrift stores I've got this for Eric who wants to be Captain Jack Sparrow for Halloween and I thought it was great it has like the beads and just these little dangly things so it's very Captain Jack Sparrow I haven't showed him yet, but I think he'll be really excited. And then this was $5.98 for this hat. It's one of their brand new, like from their costume line. So that is what I picked up at the thrift stores when I went out and about. Now at Dollar Tree, I wanna show you a couple of the things I picked up before the party that I didn't have a chance to show because it was like literally right before the party. So I picked up some candy scoopers for my candy bar and they came in little two packs just like this and I got two two packs. I really wanted the small ones because my candy dishes are pretty small and so I did pick up the two. I used them. This one has some candy dust on it because I need to wash them. I just like started taking down my candy bar because the kids have really enjoyed that this week. So I got those. I was looking for the tongs. They usually have those little clear plastic tongs and I couldn't find them anywhere and so I went with the scoops and no tongs. I had picked up several packages of Pop Rocks again. I had picked them up initially for the candy bar. I had them in there, but then I wanted to put them in the goodie bags too because the kids just seemed to really love the Pop Rocks. And so I wanted to pick up more. So I had gotten four, four of the three packs, probably five because I have an extra. So probably five, three packs of them. And so I got those right before the party. I picked up these silverware. I couldn't find the super heavy duty forks, just plain. I found the spoons just plain, but not the forks. And I was worried, I got one package of forks, but I was worried the one wouldn't be enough. And so I wanted extra. So I grabbed these as just in case and then they didn't get opened, which is fine. So I'll just put them away for our next party because it's just nice to have that on hand. And then lastly, I had picked up two of these bowls and they were just to have, cause I was really going with just like the clear, there's two in there, they just don't wanna come apart. I was going for the clear look of all the different things. So our food, we were gonna do pizza, but we ended up doing hamburgers and hot dogs with a pasta salad and a lettuce salad. And so it was just nice to have the clear bowls cause it all matched. So that's why I ran out and grabbed some bowls too. So that was the, some of those last minute items that I grabbed um, right before the party. I didn't have a chance to show. I also, right before the party, 
and grabbed way too many red paints. So I think my last video I did talk about my debacle with making the brick wall for the nine and three quarters platform that I was painting. I could not find the red oxide. This was finally at the, th I went to four, one, two, three, four, four stores. So this was at the third store that I was finally like, you know what, I'm just gonna make red work. I know I already started with the other color, but somehow maybe if I mix it with brown, sorry, my dogs are excited. Um, mix it with brown, I can make it work, right? So I grabbed all the reds that they had at the store to figure that out. But then at the fourth store, I found the red oxide, which now I have two extras because I grabbed all four of them. I didn't know how many I was gonna need and I wasn't gonna risk not having them. So I grabbed them all. Sorry guys, I picked them all up. So now I have extras, but I'll just put them along with my paint and we'll just have them on hand for the next whatever I need them for. So it was such a mess. It was the Saturday before and I spent hours, literally hours looking for paint. And then lastly, what I used for the party were these gift boxes. These are beautiful. There's one inside too. They're the nesting ones. You buy them individually, but they looked very wizardy to me. And so I wrapped up. I haven't given Braxton all his gifts. I only did a few for the party, but I wanted something easy to wrap in. Okay, so there's another one in there. It doesn't want to come out easily and I don't care enough to get it out. So I got the two and I wrapped up a couple things. I got him a nine and three quarter shirt that I showed in a Target haul and I got him from Amazon the um, Fantastic Beasts movies because he's already watched the Harry Potter movies and then I thought maybe he'd be into the Fantastic Beasts. So um, that's what I use those for. And then now let's talk about things that I've picked up since the party. I grabbed a couple of trash bins. We need one for our upstairs bathroom. We recently redid it. We had a bright blue trash bin in there, but now it's the colors in there are like gray, white, and black. And so I just wanted some solid color ones. Only one will probably go in there, but I just picked up two in case we need to replace a trash can somewhere else. And I really like those. I feel like they're really sturdy. I picked up a loaf of bread. Um, I think bread for a dollar is just a killer deal. This one is September 28th, so this upcoming week. And so we'll get through hopefully a big chunk of it before it goes bad, but just some classic white bread sounded really good. I typically typically get like wheat bread and stuff, but every so often just white bread just sounds good. And now something that I never talk about because I usually only have wrappers and so I have wrappers today are the snacks that you could pick up at Dollar Tree. So I'm really terrible about eating lunch. A lot of times I drop my son off at school, I come home, I'll eat breakfast, or I'll eat breakfast with him, drop him off at school, either way, I get breakfast in, and then I'm like, okay, what am I doing for the day, and I get ready, and I get going, and if I have to run out, I don't even think about lunch, and then so then I'm like running my errands before I have to pick my son up, my errands, frugal J, errands, um, so before I pick him up, I'm like, wait, I'm hungry, and I don't want to grab fast food, so I've been grabbing snacks at Dollar Tree, so I have a few different ones, so I eat these, they are the Butterball Turkey Jerky, and I think that they are so good, and as comparing ounces, you get 0.9 ounces in this one, which was one of the higher ounces at Dollar Tree for jerky, and then that got me a little bit of protein, and then I ate this one, this is the Sunshine Blend, like a trail mix, and it was really, really good, I really liked it, I would eat this again, it was my first time for that one, and it was very tasty. And then a couple days ago, when I was out, I picked up these. They were honey roasted peanuts. It's Frugal J actually has been talking about peanuts because she's watching her carbs. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I haven't had peanuts in forever. They sound so good. So I grabbed them and they were. I haven't eaten them all yet. I only ate some of them when I was snacking, but they are so good. I'm excited to finish those. And then I just like these almonds. So I grabbed these too. I haven't eaten them yet, but they're just a nice snack. So I grabbed these, you get two ounces in there, so it seems like a pretty good deal. Um, I was looking at the cashews, and I, the ounces weren't very high, and so I didn't end up getting cashews, but those are really good. So, all right, now on to just regular stuff. I think of this vinyl, I hadn't gotten the iridescent yet. I think I've gotten all their fun ones. I got the animal print, both of the buffalo plaids, and I've gotten all the solid colors. And now I grab the iridescent. I will say about this vinyl, because I already cut off a chunk. I tried to use it last night because I was hauling today. And if you're doing small, intricate type cuts, this doesn't work. It just lifts all up and it becomes a hot mess. You have to be using bigger things, like you have to like kind of big bubbly letters. If it's small and intricate, this won't work for you. But if it's big and like rounder, it will. So that's kind of my thought process on that vinyl paper. I grabbed this. I don't know what we're doing for Halloween, but my thoughts are if we go around and do something, I'm just going to stick on the ears because I think that they're cute. And so, you know, I don't know if I am or not, but why not have them on hand just in case? 
I grabbed the set of napkins. I was YouTubing the other night and I was ran across someone who was crafting with napkins and like basically Mod Podge and napkins on the wood bases. Let's see, do I still have that base over here? Yeah. So Linderella Loves the Dollar Tree sent me this in my package because I was looking for a round one for my snitch. Didn't end up using any of the platforms that I purchased. But something like this and I could put the the uh, napkin on it, probably paint it white, put the napkin on it, Mod Podge it, and then you just have a nice little decor piece. And then, so my fondue party, this is kind of the theme I'm going for, and so I thought maybe that'd be really cute or just with fall decor. So I'm gonna try that out. I realize, I don't know if I got anything for my front door, and I don't know if I'm gonna make a wreath or not, but I picked this up because I thought it was really pretty with the pumpkins, and it says Harvest Blessings. and my fall is starting to really dwindle in my stores and so I figure if I want it I need to just grab it because everything's running out and just in case I need something for the front door. This was literally the only one of these in this store. Braxton had hauled these the other day when he joined me for a haul. He had found all of them and it was on a decent sized display and I didn't even think to pick a few up for Christmas and so when I saw just this one um, I grabbed it, and I haven't seen a lot of these, not even floating around on hauls quite yet, but when I see them, I grab them because I just think that they're great to add into Christmas gifts. And then I got these guys. Oh my gosh, these gnomies. So these are so cute. They're just little teeny gnomy guys. I got one. He fell off. I, I, so I bought two, the two sets, and this one was the second one, and he was they were missing a friend, but I found him, so I still bought it. And so they just are just so cute little, like, gnome ornaments and they're just really cute so I had to have them so there's him I grabbed this because I still haven't gone to the post office guys I'm so sorry and I'm adding to the stuff so I got this to add into my giveaway for my 500 giveaway for Jennifer Simple Life because she loves animal print and this is crown jewels it doesn't tell you how many pieces of paper because they don't but it also has the cheetah print on the pages which is just really beautiful and I just love notebooks so I grabbed that for her I grabbed this one for me because it's all the coffees and I love coffee and all the things about coffees and I did tell myself if I ran into this I had to have it because I saw people haul it and it was just randomly somewhere because that's where I always find all my good stuff so I picked it up and it's so cute because it's got like the coffees on the pages in there and this is also crown jewels and gosh I just I love that one a lot I grabbed the words again I don't know what I'm doing on my front door for fall and so I wanted to make sure I had whatever I might need and so this one has the thankful harvest and welcome little words just in case I decide to make a wreath for my front door and then lastly I got a book so this says, this is how it happened. I actually read, so it's kind of about a social media person and they got in a car accident, someone ended up passing away and they were trying to determine what happened. It's actually really creepy. So I'm thinking about the Gabby case that's been in the news a lot lately and social media and stuff. I don't know, I just kind of made that connection. So also beautiful, beautiful cover on this one. So it's got the white and then just kind of the green, light green writing on it. And so if I wanted to just do it for decor, it was beautiful for that. And the story, it says it's a Harper Teen book and it's like a suspense kind of book, but we'll see. And then it retails for $17.99. And so I picked it up a lot for the cover of the storyline too. And then I was I was literally just watching Stephanie Harlow and she was talking about the Gabby, but, but I don't want to butcher her last name because I can't think of exactly how to say it, but that case, which is, I've been kind of keeping track of a little bit. Um, so that is my Dollar Tree haul for today. Um, thank you so, so much for being here. Don't forget hashtag 600. Join my giveaway if you made it all the way to the end because I love that, especially on giveaway videos because I find it really interesting to see who just is in it for the giveaway. Um, do a little emoji of a book or just type in book because I know not everyone could do the emoji. So if you just type in book, that tells me the same thing. And then that way I know that you made it all the way to the end to my last item, which was a book. So um, don't forget, you have to like, subscribe, all the other giveaway rules. You have to um, live in the United States, be 18 or older. I will keep this open for a week, so it'll be the end of next week that I will 
um, and the giveaway at the date will be in the the description box below because I'm not going to fight with the calendar in my brain it just isn't going to work so that is all I have for you today thank you guys so so much for being here I appreciate each and every one of you so much and I will see you guys next time bye